I can't believe that this thing is installed the wrong way. What do we have here? Four vacuum tubes. They accelerate electrons so that they become beta radiation and induce mild X-rays and ions. The top of the tube has this kind of metal coating inside. The purpose is to absorb oxygen. And oxygen is released, for example, straight from the glass wall because of all that radiation. But the metal film also makes the effect of radiation surprisingly visible. In this individual, the holes form a rather narrow belt circulating around the tube. And here, sky stars are scattered in the center, though there are some on the side where the getter ring is closest. This one has small points all over, while on this they are fewer but bigger. On this last tube you can see also how beta radiation darkens glass and gives it a funny violet tint. By how the tinting is restricted so that there is a millimeter gap before the coating, one can conclude that it has a negative potential. When electrons rush into the metal, they slip towards the holes, enlarging them providing explanation for this phenomenon. Why all this is so important is that it demonstrates the untold nature of radiation. You are educated only what kind of obstacle blocks a certain kind of rays, but not what happens to the obstacle itself. So a nuclear reactor a million times thicker than the metal we saw, but a billion times more powerful than these tubes, looks pretty much the same. Routine emissions from a nuclear power plant that are admitted are noble gases, which exit the fuel rods through microscopic cracks. Now we know that it's not even possible to have a rod without these micro cracks in the reactor, but only a short time in the beginning. And on the microscopic level, you can't say if an atom is a solid or a gas, so everything creeps out, even plutonium, and goes all the way through the turbine mount.